Welcome to another video. Sometimes the integral is easy to just attack right away. Sometimes it is not that easy. And this is one of those integrands that you cannot just look at and know what to do because it looks very tempting to see that the denominator is quadratic, the numerator is linear. If I take the derivative of this, I should be able to get a linear expression. Unfortunately, it doesn't help. Why? Because the derivative of the denominator is 2x minus 1, but this is not a factor of 2x minus 1. Remember that u substitution always works if the numerator for a rational integrand is a multiple of the derivative of the denominator. But in this case, x plus 1 is not a multiple of 2x minus 1 when we get the derivative, so we get stuck. And that's why you must learn to rewrite the integrand. You have to write it in a way that makes it possible to integrate because this cannot be factored. You can do completing the squares. Well, completing the squares only works if you don't have anything on top, but there's something sitting on top. So we have to find a way of getting rid of it before we can do completing the squares and then we can do a trig substitution. If this is your first time watching my video, Please make sure to like this video, leave a comment in the comment section, be subscribed if you're not. And if this is not the first time, I would crave your indulgence that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Let's get into the video. Like I said initially, the derivative of the denominator is 2x minus 1, as you can see. So, look, 2x minus 1 is supposed to be a multiple of the numerator. That's how it's going to make it easy for us to just say, okay, we can get rid of it. 2x plus 1, rather. There is no k that can make this equal. It is impossible for there to be any number that makes this possible for us. It looks as if it's possible, but it's not. Okay, we cannot write this to be equal to this. So what do we do? What we say is... Um, what if... We try to replace x plus 1 with something that contains this. So watch this. So this is not possible. So this is how to rewrite the numerator so that it provides you with 2x minus 1 and you're going to replace k plus 1 because we can do the multiplication. This is what you do. You're going to say that x plus 1 is equal to, because you want 2x, you don't want x, right? You're going to write 2x. Just start with that. 2x and then divided by 2. This is the same thing as this. And what is 1? You want to make sure the denominators are the same. I can write 1 as 2 over 2. So I'm going to write this as 2 over 2. But really, what I want is 2x minus 1. But right now what I have is 2x, don't forget, just ignore the denominator. I have 2x plus 2, but I want 2x minus 1. So how do I change 2x plus 2 into 2x minus 1? What can I do to this 2 to make it minus 1? I can subtract 3. If I subtract 3, it becomes 2x minus 1. So I'm going to write minus 3, still divided by 2. Ladies and gentlemen, you have generated a replacement for this expression. Now, watch what's going to happen. 2x plus 2 minus 3 is 2x minus 1. But remember that what we're looking for is... We just want to be able to express this, write this. So, this is the same thing as x plus 1. But now, we have minus 3 over 2. We have to undo this. We have to add 3 over 2 to it. 
So everything you see on the right is just this. This is x plus 1. Now, minus 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is 0. Watch what's going to happen. I'm going to take out what I have here. I'm going to combine all of these and see what it becomes. It becomes, see, this and this will be 2x minus 1 divided by 2 plus 3 over 2. Right, that's x plus 1. This is the toughest part of this exercise. And if you do this over and over, it took me a while because I was showing you how to think about it, but this part is 2x minus 1 over 2. That's the same thing as this plus 3 over 2. If you decide to distribute this, you're going to come back to x plus 1 as your final answer. And that's what we need. So we're going to go back to this integrand and write it in such a way that this one is going to be on top plus this one. So we're going to say this is equal to the integral of, um, instead of writing the over 2 here, I'm going to write 1 half. So I'm going to write 1 half of 2x minus 1 is what's on top plus 3 over 2 divided by the denominator x squared minus x plus 1 dx. Okay, so I'm going to split at this point. This is going to be the integral of 1 over 2, 2x minus 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 dx uh, plus 3 over 2. I'll do the integral. This is going to be x squared minus x plus 1 dx. We have split this integral into two different ones. And this is easily integrable because you can, you know by u substitution, the derivative of this is this and you're done. You just do the natural log of that, you're done. You go here, well, you can pull this three over two to the back and then you can do completing the squares for this one and do a trig substitution. That's the journey. So let's rewrite this. So this is gonna be equal to one half of the integral of 2x minus 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 dx plus 3 over 2 times the integral of 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 dx. Okay, you can integrate this, you can integrate this, and the job is almost done. So I'm going to do this bit by bit, I'm going to take this piece first, the very first half, and I'm going to say, okay, look at the integral, the integral 2x minus 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 dx. I'm going to say, let, let's do u be equal to x squared minus x plus 1. I know that du is going to be 2x minus 1 dx, and that's what's on top, 2x minus 1 dx. So we can go back here and say that this integral is the integral of, you see, 2x minus 1 dx will be replaced with du, and under, I'm going to have u. That's it, because this is my u. So this is going to be equal to the natural log of u, just like that. Okay, now do I need to put the absolute value bars I know I don't need to. Why do I know I don't have to? Because this function can never be negative. Why? Because for a quadratic, if b squared is less than 4ac, it cannot even be zero. So here, the b squared is less than 4ac. You can see b squared is 1 squared, which is 1, and 1 is less than 4 times 1 times 1. So 1 is less than 4, therefore it cannot be negative. So I don't really need the absolute value bars for this, okay? That's how I know. B squared is less than 4ac, the quadratic never even touches the x-axis. Okay, that's it. And I've gotten one part. What did we say u was again? We said u was x squared minus x, so this is going to be x squared minus x plus 1 natural log natural log of this. So I can go here and say this is equal to, there's a one half sitting in the back, so it's going to be 1 over 2 natural log of x squared 
minus x plus 1. That's the first part. And then the second part is going to be plus 3 over 2 times this integral. Now, what happens to the integral? Let's get rid of this. So the integral is 1 over the integral of 1 over x squared minus x plus 1. This cannot be factored and there's no other trick we can perform other than to do completing the squares and hope to get something squared plus 1 and then we can do it, uh, the appropriate trick substitution. So if I look at this, we want to complete the squares. So we're going to say x squared minus x plus 1 um, is the same thing as just focus on these two, ignore the 1. Okay, uh, we're going to take half of this and half of that will be minus one half. So it's going to be minus one half squared. That's it. But when you square this, it's going to become x squared minus x plus one over four. So we, are, we have inadvertently added or intentionally added one over four to this. We have to subtract the one over four. So it's going to be plus one minus one over four. So you end up with x squared, sorry, with x minus one half squared plus three over four. Okay, so this is what we're gonna go put here in place of this expression, dx. Okay, your first mission, make sure there is one here. We're happy, that's it. If this is not one, just pull it to the back. Make sure this also is one, okay. You want to make sure it is 1. So we're going to pull this 3 over 4 all the way out by factoring it. And remember the word factoring means dividing by the common factor. So if I divide this by 3 over 4 because I want this to be 1, I'm going to have to divide this also by 3 over 4. x minus 1 over 2 squared divided by 3 over 4. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Okay, this might be a trouble for some people, so I'm just gonna simplify. If you simplify the inside, multiply this way, this is x over one, this is gonna be two times x minus one over two, so this is two x minus one over two squared divided by three over four. This is the same thing as two x minus one squared over four divided by three over four. See, this four cancels this four so that what you have left is basically two x minus one squared over three. And two x minus one squared over three can be written as two x minus one over square root of three everything squared. This and this are exactly the same thing, and that's what we need here. I just walked you through the journey. So this is going to be 2x minus 1 over square root of 3, and everything is squared. dx. Now, where is the 3 over 4 we used to divide everything? Well, we factor it out to this side so that it is multiplying this, you now have um, 4 over 3 here. That's it. So because 3 over 4 was in the denominator, when you bring it out, it flips and it becomes 4 over 3, and we can do this multiplication so you have a 2 here. Because I'm running out of space, I'm going to clean this up. So 3 cancels 3, and 2 cancels this, so you have just 2 at the back here. So plus 2. Okay, so what should you do here for your substitution? Remember, anytime you have something x squared plus 1, it is arctangent, right? But this is not straight up x. It is still some crazy thing that you can see. So what you would do is you can do another substitution, which I recommend. I recommend you say, so let's go. Let's say let, um, we're going to get rid of this. Let let's say t be equal to 2x minus 1 over the square root of 3. So we know that dt will be equal to the derivative of this is just going to be 2 over square root of 3 dx. So that means that this means that um, dx, if you leave dx on this side, 
you're going to have square root of 3 over 2 dt. So square root of 3 over 2 dt is going to replace dx, and this is now going to be t squared plus 1, and you can bring the square root over t, square root over 2 um, to the back here. So this is plus 2 times the integral of 1 over, this is now going to be t squared plus 1, and our dx is replaced by times square root of 3 over 2 dt. Ha! Huh. So this square root of 3 over 2 can come here and actually multiply this, so you have square root of 3 over 2, and this is no longer here, and this is just dt. Nice! Oof. Plus. This is still coming down here right? Okay, so let's finish this up. Now we know how to integrate this because this is just arc 10 t. Okay, so our answer, and this two cancels this, this, so we can bring this down and say this answer is equal to one half of the natural log of x squared minus x plus one plus, if this cancels this, you just have the square root of two times the inverse tangent of t, right? But what did we say t was again? We said t is all of this. That's insane. t is all of this, right? So we're going to say instead of writing t, we're going to write 2x minus 1 over the square root of 3. Now this is not natural log. So we just do this and we say plus c. Wow, is this the answer? Oh, square root of 3, not square root of 2. Square root of 3. Wow. Wow. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.